Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As you delete sections and pages from your notebooks, they are kept in a notebook recycle bin by default. To restore a deleted section or page within a notebook, you must display the contents of the notebook recycle bin. However, many notebooks automatically delete items within the notebook's recycle bin after 60 days, so you may not be able to retrieve deleted items in your notebook recycle bin from long ago. To view a notebook's recycle bin, open the notebook, and then click the Notebook Recycle Bin button that appears in the History button group on the History tab in the ribbon. You can click this same button again to toggle back to the contents of the notebook when you are finished. You can also switch to the Notebook Recycle Bin by clicking the drop-down arrow under the Notebook Recycle Bin button, and then clicking the Notebook Recycle Bin command from the drop-down menu. Within the Notebook Recycle Bin, you will see all the deleted sections and pages that have not yet been permanently deleted. To restore a notebook section or a page, right-click on the Section tab to restore within the Notebook Header tabs, or simply right-click on a page to restore within the Page Tabs bar within the Deleted Pages Section tab. Select the Move or Copy command in the pop-up menu that appears to open the Move or Copy dialog box. Expand the notebooks and sections within the dialog box if needed to select the notebook or section to which you want to restore the selected section or page. Then click either the Move button to move the section or page from the notebook recycle bin to the selected location, or click the Copy button to place a copy into the selected location instead. To permanently delete the items within a notebook recycle bin after reviewing them to ensure that you will not need them in the future, you can click the drop-down arrow underneath the notebook recycle bin button and select the empty recycle bin command. You will need to click the yes button in the confirmation dialog box that appears to permanently delete the items from the notebook recycle bin. Also, like the Page Versions button, you can also turn the notebook's history on and off by clicking the Disable History for This Notebook command from the Notebook Recycle Bin drop-down button and choosing to keep or delete the existing notebook history in the prompt that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.